Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buzz and Suds. Uh, tonight we're going to do some narrow gauge IPAs. Awesome. So I went to a perennial. I went to a Braxis day, and of course I went to Side Project. And as I was there, I had a couple people tell me you have to hit up narrow gauge. And that reminded me we had a narrow gauge beer, uh, which we loved, juicy New England style IPAs. Um, and in an Italian restaurant, and so I was like, check, check, sold. Um, got some of these amazing loaded or uh, stuffed meatballs. So it was, you know, meatballs about this size that were stuffed with mozzarella and you know seasoned, and then breaded and fried with marinara on top. Sounds wonderful. And then uh, four, you know, ounce or uh, four four ounce samplers of their IPAs. It was. So happy I went up there. It was kind of one of the surprises of the trip. Got a crowler and a few cans to go, more than a few cans to go. And uh, we're gonna do some of them today. Awesome. So first one we're doing is H, excuse me, SHB, double dry hopped El Dorado. We're guessing that means single hop beer because I think they do a series. So it's single, you know, I'm guessing that's what it stands for. 8%, or excuse me, 7% ABV um, El Dorado. So All right. let's do it. So has that nice golden haze. Yeah, it's a nice orange hazy. color. It is hazy. All right, let's get to that. Right. And this one was canned 11 one. So what are we all now? Seven, six days? Seven? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mmm. Wow. It smells a lot like mosaic. Mm. Just some you know, soft fruits. I'm getting, soft I'm getting a nice herbal character as well. Are you? Mm, I'm not getting that yet. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's kind of just a, it is a nice soft fruity, uh, there's, it's not very, um, it's not just jumping out at me. Right. It's just very pleasant smelling, but, uh, I'm starting to get some herbal notes yeah, to it, but, yeah. but to me, that's, you know, after the sure. nice mosaic ish. All right. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. Nice kind of silky mouthfeel. And I'm hit with this herbal hot punch to start with. Yeah, I get herbal first right off the bat. Um, different. It's got a very distinct flavor. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I don't know if I've had another single dry hopped El Dorado. Maybe I have, but it's a very distinct flavor. Yeah, I love the mouthfeel on this. Nice and creamy. Um, hit with that like herbal if there's any fruit it's kind of just soft and on the background of that herbal punch I'm yeah, with. I get mostly herbal and it just kind of fades off in the back mm -hmm. it fades off pretty quick too it yeah it tastes a lot like galaxy well reminds me a little of galaxy yeah hmm. yeah this kind of like nice milky mouthfeel herbal I'm kind of getting used to but it's still I mean it's still the primary flavor for me yeah, it's pretty good. I like, I like it. it. Um, kind of like a four, four, two, five in that region. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna go four, two, five. Um, I mean, it's got a, it's got a good mouth feel. Yeah, it I does. love single hot beers. It, you know, lets you know what the, yeah, the flavor of that hop is supposed to be. Um, it's all up front like, though for me. Like so, I guess if I what I'd want more was just something on the back. It's something that finishes. You yeah. know, like it's really nice creaminess, and then this just nice herbal kind of punch in the front, and just fades off for me. Yeah, it just doesn't linger though. Does yeah, it? but nothing off-putting about it though. I mean, I would still I would still get this beer. I would drink it. I mean, um, it, it may have been too picky. I, I'll just go four two five. I, I really like this. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Just don't let there be much time between sips and you'll keep tasting it. <laughs> don't That's let why it. you have a growler. Or yeah. A growler. Yeah. Um, so 425 or 425? Four, yeah, 425. 425's for so, both of us. Um, more narrow gauge to come tonight. Stay tuned. Anything else? No. As always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.